Hey guys, it's Calm B, and today's video is going to be a Rec Room Studio update. So, Rec Room just announced that they have this new circuit editor that you could use in Rec Room Studio, which is really amazing. I'm going to just show you the basics of it, but it'll make building games so much easier. Everything will be in one place on your desktop. So I will go ahead and give you a short preview. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. All right, let's head over to Rec Room Studio. All right, guys, so right now I'm in a fairly empty room. And you'll notice that I have the circuit editor over here as the cab. If you do not see that, you could go to Rec Room Studio and click on circuit editor and drag that over if you want to keep it um, on your top display, which I would recommend. Right now this room does not really have circuits, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the circuit editor. And we're gonna right click and create a node. And you'll see this menu comes up with all the different CV2 circuits. So we are going to add in, let's see, we'll add a velocity. Uh, velocity add okay and that will bring up the velocity chip and you also notice here on the left hand side of our maker pen objects we now have that chip as well a few things to note you could right click and change the name of some of these circuits but you cannot yet configure they're still working on that uh, so yeah what do we want to add an impulse to all right let's add a button to our scene so I'm going to just do a search for button. And I believe this is the button we want. There we go, we have a button. So now if I go to my circuit editor and I click on button and impulse add, and I click this little magnifier glass, it's gonna bring in both of those circuits. So now if I hit this little circular button over here that will keep the new positions of the circuits that I just added. If I want to turn that off, I could just do that. But for now, I would like to keep these circuits close to each other. All right, so we have a button. So when we press the button, we want to add impulse and we want to add that to the player. Okay, well, what direction do we want to go? Let's go add a vector to our scene. I'll add a vector. And we'll go back to our circuit editor. And I will click all three of these. And now we have our vector. And we will put the vector direction as our direction. And that's really it. Uh, a couple of cool things to note, you can copy and paste different circuits. So control C, control V, I just duplicated this impulse ad. Um, you could also, you could do a bunch of things, but like I said, right now you just can't configure them all. But this will be helpful when you want to work with Rec Room Studio Circuits and you don't want to just download it and then have to do everything locally. So, all right, we have our simple scene set up. Let's go and play local and see if it works. All right, here we are in the room. Let's go see if this works. If I press the button, it moves me in the vector direction. All right, so that worked. So a couple other things things that I just want to go through, let's hop back to Rec Room Studio, is that if you double click into one of your circuit boards, it does bring up all the circuits and you could go ahead and edit those circuit boards. That's another function that I find really helpful. And it's just a great way to organize all your circuit boards. So yeah, there's so much more that you could, you could do with these circuits, but this is just a brief overview. Let me know what you guys think about this new update for Rec Room Studio. I think that 
this way of editing and creating projects is going to really accelerate the rooms and the creation possibilities in Rec Room. So that's all I have for today. If you, please like and subscribe. I plan to do more Rec Room Studio tutorials. That's all I have for today. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week.